if I, Mr. Cage, never take ownership of my behavior, my behavior will never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> it'll never, never change. This is Mr. Cage's thought of the day. And hopefully this thought will find a little place in your space, your mind, which is your perception, and your heart, which is your motive, your modus operandi, how you do things, how you behave, how you operate, and how you move. This statement means a lot to me because when I look back on the past, not my past, but the past, I look at my romantic relationships, and that was something that I did not do. I didn't take ownership of my behavior. And my behavior never changed. But you know what happened? I was then involved in relationship after relationship after relationship. And when we involved in dysfunctional relationships and several relationships, they are called situationships. They don't, they're no longer called <laughs> relationships because the situation ship only lasts for a moment because it's dependent on the dysfunction of the party or the parties involved. It's a, temp it's a temporal piece. So why did I not take responsibility or take ownership over my behavior? Because my upbringing, my environment, me seeing myself still as an only child, I didn't have to take ownership over my behavior because I didn't have people around me on a daily basis to have conflict with, to apologize to. It was difficult. And that mentality, that mindset transitioned over into my relationships and my romantic relationships and my personal relationship with relatives, peers, and my professional relationships. It was never them or it was never me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was never me. It was, it was always them. So now when I see myself involved in the scenario where I made a mistake, I can, I can take ownership of my behavior and understanding that behavior is not reflective of who I am, it's reflective of who I was. But it also doesn't make me feel bad. So sometimes we don't want to take ownership of our behavior because of the guilt that comes with it, because of the shame that comes with it, because of some of the regret or remorse, some of the negative emotions that come with taking ownership over behavior. All of them are lies if they come from a negative aspect. We should feel sorrow. We should feel remorse. But those emotions that we feel should be a fuel for change. So when you find yourself in situations where a person is saying you wrong, see what they mean by what they say. Take ownership for the part that you play. Don't be concerned about if they're going to make a change and they're going to make an adjustment or improvement. Be more concerned about you taking ownership of that behavior because if not, you will remain in a stuck state and all the opportunities that's meant for your life to behold will be non-existent and we don't want that to happen. This is Mr. Cage's thought of the day, taking responsibility and ownership for our behavior. When we do, we set the stage for authentic transformative change and a higher quality of life.